What's up guys? Uh, we took a little road trip today. We went over to the Nova Shack. We're going to work on Zach's 68 shovel head, Harley Davidson. We're going to help him replace the clutch in it, or clutches. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not a big Harley guy, so I don't know a lot about it. But uh, here's a set of clutches. Yeah, here's the old fibers. I took them out last night, and uh, they're just pretty well worn. It was all gummed up, and the clutch was, was really grabby on it, so I went down to the local motorcycle shop on my lunch break today and got a new set of clutch fibers so you can kind of see I don't know if you can see that real good but see the difference in thickness mm -hmm. so yeah, and they're, uh, they're a nice pretty orange color too high performance see that oh man get in oh, high man. performance so all right all right, so that's what we're going to do. I really don't know. I'm going to stand around and watch and maybe uh, be the kid that holds a flashlight and hand him wrenches. Maybe. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I almost forgot. All right, so we got the primary cover off of here, and this is a stock type clutch basket and clutch hub, although it has an aftermarket belt drive in here. You know, it would have had a, a chain in here originally, and this pressure plate is aftermarket, but it just goes right in place of the stock one. So what I like to do to take this off of here is get a couple washers. You know, you can use a, a shovel head uh, valve spring retainer. That's what a lot of people like to use. I don't have one of those right now, so I just found a couple washers and we are going to compress the pressure plate. You know, these springs are compressed down and then we can just take these nuts off of here. And this is pretty cool because this whole unit will slide right off of here without having to mess with these springs. So there it is. That's off there. I got to be careful because that little ball will fall off of there but otherwise just set it over here and then you can start pulling the the clutch discs and steels out so this is just a used set that i borrowed from a friend of mine uh last night so i could get home um but you just take everything out and normally a lot of guys like to keep these in order but we're replacing these so it doesn't really matter for this application. Are you replacing the steels? Or those are no, no, these are good. I, uh, I cleaned them up really good last night. And you want to look at them close and see if there's cracks and stuff. And these are aftermarket ones already. They normally have little spring, little dampers on here if they're original, I think. Uh, these were in here when I got it. And last night I just kind of deburred these a little bit with a file and cleaned them up and I think they're good to go. So we're going to reuse them. And then reassemble is just uh, put it back together backwards. <clears throat> yep, pretty much. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, you can kind of see this retainer plate in here. I put this in here a long time ago. This is called a a ramjet retainer that piece of plastic on there and that's supposed to keep the clutch drum or basket from from walking out you know that's a common symptom of these motorcycle clutches um, this basket will walk out and then compress all the discs and steels and so that little retainer thing is is really supposed to help that out a lot so an old timer told me to put that in there and uh, I did, and the clutch worked really good for a long time, so highly recommended. Clutch worked good long time, very long time.
All right, well, that was incredibly easy. Way more easy than I thought. Just gotta undo these bolts around here, remove this little foot thingy. <laughs> yeah, footboard, man. A foot thingy. That's awesome having that. And then... Uh, and I did some of the work last night. You know, I cleaned up those steels and, and I kind of cleaned everything and I put that used set of clutches in uh, just for the night and then I went down to the motorcycle shop and got that clutch today. I didn't really expect that they would have it in stock, uh, but I got lucky and they did. So, you know, it takes about an hour though to do something like that. So pretty minor deal. So. All right, well, what anyway. is this motorcycle? Uh, it's kind of a Heinz 57. It's a 1968 shovel head engine. Um, the, the frame is later. This is like a 1977 uh, shovel head frame and it has a, an aftermarket Baker four speed transmission in it. Um, so it's, uh, you know, a little bit of everything and it's got uh, front and rear disc brakes from a, a 70s style bike. Um, these are GMA aftermarket disc brakes. They work way better than the drums that would have been on here originally. Um, you know, it's got the square swing arm on it now. Uh, it would have had a round swing arm originally. So it's pretty much like a mid-70s chassis with a 68 engine and a, an aftermarket ratchet top transmission. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks kind of like a 68, but it's kind of a mixed match of different stuff. So just a good rider, something you can ride around on and not... Not worry too much about and have fun with. All right, well, that's going to be a wrap from the Nova Shack. That was pretty easy. Uh, way more simple than I thought it would be. So we'll check in the next one.